Do you want to know something interesting about this sweater? What? It's a hoodie, right? Yeah. Where's my front pocket? Where am I supposed to put all my snacks and my treats? Not in this sweater. Welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Exactly, and board gamey things is exactly what we did this past weekend when we had Foster the Gameathon, a 24 hour all you can play board gameathon. And Second guess annual. what? Second annual fun run. And guess what? For the cure. <laughs> for the cure. And guess what we did? We stayed up for over 24 hours. Well, not technically. Well, I did. You napped. Not really. I had a half an hour and I got I woke up at 5.30 in the morning because I showered okay. and everything. Ooh, big strong so, man. Anyways, we are here to talk about Foster the Gameathon. We have some stats, we have some giveaway winners that we want to talk about, all of those fun things. What's the look on your face all about? I could have gone for a snack while we are doing this. Do you want a chocolate egg? I'm also like, I forgot about that barbecue. I need to put that together. Yeah. Also, the studio, if you're wondering if it's a mess. Yes, it is. Yeah. Looks like an explosion happened I'm in gonna here. I'm going to clean it before we leave. All right. Let's talk. This was our second annual game -a This year, unlike last year, Jeff was not sick. And so he was no. actually participating in most of it this time. There was only I one I don't like instance. how you said most of it. I don't like how you there was an emphasized where Jeff most of it. had a nap and needed to sleep for an extra half hour and then ended up being an extra hour and a bit. But you came back and you finished okay. it out. In my defense, it was like 4 a.m. So whatever, man. It's true, it was 4 a.m., man. Anyways, so we started at 7 a.m. our time on Saturday, March 23rd, and we went all the way to 7 a.m., nay, 6.50 a.m., because I yeah. physically couldn't do it anymore. Hit the limit. I hit my limit. So it was a little streaming a little bit under 24 hours, um, and I just, like, I physically, when we stopped, I was, like, shaking. Like, I did not feel well at yeah. all. So, anyways, we did it, though, and we want to talk about it. So, we ended up playing. Let me get my stats. Jamie loves the stats. I do love stats. Ooh. Perfecto. Pure life. Pure water. Here's some stats for you. We ended up playing 29 different games mm. during the game -a-thon. Which is 32% more than we played last year. Love to see it. Right? We played with 34 plays total. Mm -hmm. We played uh, some games multiple times. Numpsters, I played like four or five times. And Jeff and I played Sea Salt and Paper at least three times. Mm -hmm. So we had 34 plays, which is 23% more than we had last year. Okay? This is the one that really gets me. Yeah. We had 10,000 live views because Crazy. you all. Wanted to watch us play games for 24 hours without Crazy, sleeping. Man. You were here during our loopiest moments. And maybe if you are like I'm a sad. real one. I'm sad the Tinder blocks yes. thing is gone forever. So we'll talk about that in a minute. And also, yeah, we'll talk about the gone forever thing too. But anyways, 10,000 live views, which is 96% more than we got last year. Which is crazy. That's the math. That's the math. We had, this one's one of my favorites. We had 3,400 chat messages mm. throughout the day, which is a 32% increase from last year. And that does not include any of the Discord chatting that was going on, which was happening all day long. People were sending pictures and updates of what they were doing. So everybody, chat was lit. The chat was lit. It was bumping. It was hard to keep up with sometimes, to be honest with you. And of course, we had a bunch of challenges and giveaways, and we had 580 entries. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's and a lot I went entries. through every single one of them. She did. <laughs> because, well, because there was just so many, like, well, cute and pictures. You have and, to. And, well, yeah, and, and you have to. You, you got That's stuff. That's the entry. That's the entry. Can you just tilt your head down for a second? 
note down so that your eye is gone. It doesn't want to focus on me. I'm here too, camera. Anyways. <laughs> Nobody can see no what we No one knows what we just did, but it worked. <laughs> It's a lot of challenge entries and we are going to talk about the winners and everything today but those are some of the stats and realistically like for me anyways i just feel like this year went so much more smoothly than last year probably yeah. for a variety of reasons yep right like yeah. we didn't have any guests this year which is sad in a way because it was fun to have people on but the tech yeah it, like it removed a ton of technical stress it really did yeah and we wanted to also just shout out, we had so many amazing sponsors for the we giveaway. Did. So our, the, like we had different tiers of sponsorship that a publisher could do, but our like big sponsors were Druid City Games, mm -hmm. Arcane Wonders, Incredible Dream. We had Lucky Duck Games, we had The Op, and we had Dice Throne. And then we had a bunch of publishers that also sponsored playthroughs so shout out to them as well pandasaurus brotherwise games inside up hachette. games hachette and burnt island games so we played all of their games as well right do you want to talk about some of the, actually let's first we have like obviously no real plan for this video we just wanted to chat with everybody and then of course do the giveaway winners one thing i wanted to mention though is we were expecting that the gameathon video would be available after the gameathon mm -hmm. and what happened jeff it wasn't. It was not. Because apparently, we didn't know, but YouTube only saves streams 12 hours and less. So next year, we will be doing it in two chunks. Yeah, we'll have to snap it off and on quick. Exactly. We're just going to have to like... Maybe just during one of the... We time it for one of those break periods yeah. and just be like, we're actually going to go offline. Like, most people, I think, would understand that. Mm -hmm, for sure. And speaking of that, we did have three pre-filmed videos that we played during the game -a three challenges. And if you're like, oh, I missed out on all the fun of the challenges, well, don't worry, because we will release them throughout probably this month and next month. We had the blindfold mm -hmm. challenge, we had a five-second board game challenge, and we had lost in translation challenge. Probably, I think, a few lessons learned, one being I think we need a few more of those. Yeah, because we just put them on loop. Yeah. So if you were watching it, I you mean, you were watching it. Whatever. Over and over you know, that's over and over. people could stop the stream. <laughs> that's that true. But or muted or whatever. I think just having a few more would have been, or even just uh, longer. Yeah. Yeah. So let's we'll talk about some lessons learned. What do you think? Because we learned a bunch of stuff. So last uh, year we learned that we shouldn't start at midnight. So this year yep. we started at a better time. Uh, realistically, with. My inability, like just genuine inability to stay up that long. <laughs> um, we need, I, Jamie and I chatted about when we take breaks, we might have to kind of like pass off things. Like maybe Jamie played, it's like what happened at 4 a.m. I woke up mm. ready to come back down and I was like, I can't do it. I was like, I just can't. I need to keep sleeping. So like I think next year when we do it, you know, between 4 and five or four and six jamie will play solo games for a couple hours or an hour and at a different time i will play solo games for a couple mm -hmm. hours just to like get an actual break yeah i mean whether or not jamie actually ends up needing one who's to say but who's i definitely i definitely do jeff definitely does um taking the naps are almost detrimental mm -hmm. we had take i had taken one and kind of like it went in and out of sleep earlier yeah. in the night but the 4 a.m one yeah it was that one that one killed me bad i think like and i know people are probably thinking well isn't the whole point that you stay up 24 hours it's a little bit different because if you think about it we're not just staying up and playing games and yeah. whatever we've got these studio lights on us which gives me a super headache mm -hmm. we're talking the entire time so we were both our losing voices, our voices yeah. our throats were getting and just sore. like sitting in this upright like sitting in this position and we even like we tried to get like healthy food and stuff but like no matter what like if you're not sleeping you're pushing your body through that like both of us started to just not feel yeah. good and like these your chairs, stomach doesn't feel these, great these chairs are super comfy but again yeah. like you're sitting in it for yeah, imagine sitting. sitting at an Physically office desk sitting. for 24 hours like that's that's not going to be an enjoyable experience no matter yeah. how 
comfy and things are, but like so it's just physically rough. Yeah, like. But mentally, honestly, mentally, I think that we were pretty good. Besides that, the very, very end when we yeah. were just like done. Yeah, and like again, I. Yes, it's about being awake for twenty four hours or whatever. Like that's the, the joke of it all. But realistically, it's a about people getting together and playing games in any yeah, capacity. That's why we do it. You know, so let's let's you know, focus on on that piece of it. Like even if you yeah. play for a few hours, like that's that's what we're aiming for. For sure. Yeah, so those are just some like I don't know, I think maybe we need to take like it could be good if we set like every hour we had to stand up and do a walking break or mm -hmm. something like that just like for ourselves to make sure that we're not straining literally everything and also like my eyes because I couldn't wear my glasses here they are from the game -a because look at that reflection it's not that bad Jeff look right now it's not that bad look ridiculous we had talked about structuring our games outside of the sponsored stuff mm -hmm. we didn't really we had like a big list and like there was a stack here but it, it started getting to the point near like especially at like two or three where the games that were sitting here were like, I'm just like, no way. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just can't do it. Like, I was like, let's like, play again, on match me, we're like, can't. Give me Tinder blocks. Give me like Flick of Faith. Give me, like, I think yeah. we just need to be a little bit more mindful. Like once it gets past like 1, 2 a.m. Like, a better that's... balance of some of those silly yeah. games. Because yeah. let us tell you, and this is the true devastation of, of it all. Of, of losing the video. It was about 3 a.m., and Jeff and I were like, let's pull out Tinder blocks because it will be so funny because we'll be so bad at it because we're so tired. And we defeated Tinder blocks. We broke the game. We broke the game. Okay. I don't know how there's, it happened. There's photos. There are photos there's and everything people, I will insert. People were there. We, there was 200. There was, there was 204 people watching at that point. So mm -hmm. 204 people saw this happen. I know it's 3 legit. a.m. And we built the entire, and had, it was a, it was so tall. We had, our, we were steady. We had nothing left. It was so empty. Just quick, if you haven't played Tinder Blocks, just quickly here, so you know what we're talking about. It's a dexterity game. You're pulling out cards that have all of the different pieces in it, and you have to take the tweezers take the item and place it on your fire pit. However it tells you to. Uh, so it could be like, take two wood pieces with your left hand and put them on. And if you knock it over, you lose. Well, guess what, folks? We didn't. We didn't knock it over once. It was insane. And honestly, it is probably the saddest part about the stream not being saved. Um, it was a core memory. It's it a was core a core memory. gaming memory now. I'm happy that there were we had so many people there to enjoy it with us. Because like we were... We were amped at that. Yeah. Like, it was like the boost of energy that yeah. we needed. And it was just awesome. And if we could so get great. more games like that, like if we could get um, like Nico Jima. Oh, yeah. Like some of those other like little. We could have like, pulled out like Rhino Hero. Yeah, too. dexterity kind of like games. I think it would be a good one to yeah. kind of propel us. For sure. You know, during those wee morning hours when we're exhausted. Yeah. I just want to quickly talk about all of the games that we did end up playing, and then we'll go into the giveaway mm -hmm. stuff, okay? And I will, at the end of this video, or in a separate video, I have to decide. I have so many photos from yeah. the Game-a-thon, and I want to make like a collage, slideshow, fun thing, because of everybody just I think you should put it at the end of this. I'll put it at the end of this. Yeah. Okay? So we started off with Silver Bullet, which is a classic. We played River Valley Glassworks. We had an epic game of Wonderland's War. I won. Uh, we played Kinfire, Delve, Scorn, Stockade, Sea Salt and Paper a bunch of times. Aquatica with the Cold Waters expansion. We played Aqua. We played Endeavor Deep Sea. Vampire Village. Romy Romy. Get Bit which was a crowd favorite. Get Pit was a crowd favorite. Get Pit is one of our favorites. We played Earth with the Abundance expansion, Tranquility, Super Boss Monster, Nar, I have something on my lip now, Tapple, Dice Throne, couple of matches, which I crushed, Roth, we played Boop, Tinder Blocks, Can't Stop, Walking Dead the Dice Game, which almost never Great ended. Great game though. Dice Miner, I played a bunch of Numsters. I played Gentle Rain, 
at we played fantasy realms and we ended off with revolver noir and then sea salt and paper again i just want to also just realistically shout out jamie for uh a very impressive stretch of wins um jamie and it's gone from the internet forever jamie did very very well she even beat me in boop i did i let her win in boop. which is crazy i let you win boop well i don't think that's true we played tapple i don't know if i said that you did i just also want to give a quick shout out specifically to tranquility because again normally we mentioned this on the stream but it's gone uh, normally, those types of games aren't really my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Like the mind, the crew, you also don't like. I think you like the mind a little bit more than I do. Man, but Tranquility, I had played. We had both played it before, but o- online. Yeah. And I really enjoyed playing that mm-hmm. uh, in person. Yeah. It was fun. I have to say, like, well, we can do standout games if yeah. we want. Full disclosure: that one was uh, sponsored, though. So yes. take that for what it is. I mean, like. You know, you guys know us. It doesn't really affect how we feel about anything. But I think my favorite plays, one was for sure Endeavor Deep Sea. That game just, it ramps in such a satisfying way. (laughs) I'm very bad at that game, but I very much enjoy the flow of the mechanisms of Mm -hmm. that game. Yeah, that was one. Tinder Blocks for both. Tinder Blocks Blast. Revolver Noir, for how late we played it. Yeah. uh, It's still great. Get Bit. (laughs) Yeah, so <laughs> like I, honestly like the sillier the games the better and then i also think we just had a really great game of super boss monster yeah i was and i was also like super yeah super boss monster just it just brings back a lot of feelings yeah of early uh disclaimer boss monster was one of the first games that we played when we got in the hobby yes correct. super boss monster just kind of brought me back to uh the good old days. The good old days, I guess. <laughs> um, I also, again, Wonderland's War is always a blast. Yeah. Um, uh, this is the first time we had played Dice Throne with, like, the OG characters. So we had played Pyromancer, Moon Elf, Shadow Thief, and... Um, Ninja. Ninja. Um, it had been a while, or at least it feels like it had been a while. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> it yeah. feels like it's been a while since we played with those characters, since the tournament. It. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, because, like, we did the we tournament... We did the X-Men. We, yeah, and before that, we did the tournament with, like, the original yeah. two battle chests. But since then, we've been playing the Marvel ones, the mostly. X-Men. Yeah. 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 So it's almost been, like, over a year. It's for sure. Yeah. There's probably, like, hints of us playing them. But, like, it was just nice to get back to those OG characters. You yeah. Know? Um, I really enjoyed those plays, even though I lost both. Um, <laughs> so annoying. So let's do the challenges and giveaways, which is what I'm sure most of you are here for right now. So, like I said, 580 entries, okay? I am going to get a random number generator. The first challenge was to play a game solo, and this one, I think, had one of our highest entries, Mm -hmm. which, you know, it's great. You love to see it. So we had around 67 entries for this, Mm -hmm. and I say around because it's actually 4 to 67. So whatever 67 minus 4 is. 63. Just, 63. Okay, so we had 63 entries for this. So, Jeff, are you ready? Let's do it. 56. Ding! Whoa. The winner is Pip Pip Hooray! What a great name <laughs> uh and you are going to be winning a copy of isla and something shiny from north star games who sponsored the giveaway so shout out to north star games for that we should mention if you win uh how you need to email us how you need to email us is send us the email at foster the at gmail.com or you can private message either jeff or myself um on discord most people who entered giveaways are in the discord so if you're in the discord send us a message we will need your address your phone number and your email probably because depending on where the publisher is they're going to need that information to ship yep okay so pip pip hooray you are the winner of isla and something shiny next up we have played a game remote slash online we had a bunch of people enter this one as well no surprise there same 63 63 all right jeff you ready hit it 37. 37. Is Maggie from the Maggie. Discord. Yeah, okay, so Maggie from the Discord. Your name on Discord, 
It's just Maggie. M-A-G-G-I-E. In case you didn't know how to spell your name, that, that would be Never it. So that. you are winning a copy of Furnace and the Interbellum Expansion uh, from Arcane Wonders, who mm -hmm. sponsored this giveaway as well. So shout out to them. They Great actually team. sponsored two giveaways, another one coming up later. So congratulations to Maggie. Love it. Next one is you played a game with friends. And the game for this one is Fort from nice. Leader Games, who sponsored the, this giveaway. Checks out. And, you know, I picked Fort for this one because it just, it just makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And we had uh, around 40 people enter this one. So let's, I got to change in the numbers in my random number generator. 39. <laughs> That's crazy. Shree Hammer. Shree Hammer. From the Discord. Amazing. Okay, so you are going to win a copy of Fort from Leader Games. Love it. Love to see it. All right, next one is play a game with your family. And for this one, it's actually a giveaway from Jeff and I. We got you. We got you. And it is Strike from Ravensburger, which is a mm -hmm. great game to play with yeah. basically That everybody. would have been a good one to pull out. That would have been. Why didn't we? I don't know. I don't know either. All right, so there are 41 people here. Okay, you ready? Yep. 23, Jordan. Shay.24. <laughs> that was good. Thank you. Shay.24 from the Discord, uh, who I believe that color is for Team Jeff. So perhaps consider switching teams, just to say. Uh, anyways, Shay, you are the winner of Strike. Strike, from us. From us. To you. To you. All right, this one is joined us on YouTube during the stream for mm -hmm. a game. Okay, so uh, the winner of this one is getting from Arcane Wonders, World Wonders, and the Mundo expansion, or Mundo. I haven't even played that expansion. It's not out yet. Ooh, yeah. spicy. It's, yeah, so you have to wait, I believe, until it like comes out and they will send mm. it to you. So it's not something that you're going to get like yeah, right that. away, right away. But just so you know, highly can't anticipated. Can't get a game. It's not out yet. And we had 69. Minus four is 65. 65. Beep, boop. Generate 15. A lot of low numbers I'm going excited. on here. Who is it? I don't have my glasses on. Mama Games. Mama Games. Mama Games has entered. Um, I think Mama Games did every single one of these challenges. Love it. And I, once again, I know because I went through all 180. So I congratulations to Mama Games, and you are getting Arcane or Arcane Wonders, World Wonders, Mundo. Expansion. A lot of wonders going on. It's a on lot there. of wonders. It's a lot of wonder. wonder. I even know what's no going on. No wonder you're wondering. No wonder. All right, next up, we have played a new game to you. The game you're going to win is How to Save the World from Burnt Island Games. Mm -hmm. And actually, what you are winning is a full pledge for the Kickstarter, okay? Ooh, Which hasn't even like launched another yet. Another spicy meatball. Right? It's so exciting. Okay, so we had 59 minus 3. 55. Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. Good thing you're here. Um, so this one was sponsored by Burnt Island Games as well. So just shout out to them. 27. Rasmus. Rasmus Johansson. Or Johansson. Or Johansson. <laughs> we just automatic. Why do we assume? Johansson Johansson. From the tomato, Discord. Tomato. You have won the pledge for how to save the world. So shout out to you. All right. Next up, played an old favorite in the game for this is Root. So shout out to Leader Games for sponsoring this one. Freaking sweet. All right, 49. Freaking sweet, man. 40, number 40 is the winner and it's Amanda, a beautiful bookworm. Okay, a beautiful bookworm, Amanda. You are now the proud owner of Root. Five games, so played at least five games and you are going to win your choice of games from, sorry, your choice of game from the Flat Out Games collection oh, so choice. it could be calico it could be verdant it could be fit to print cascadia whatever tough choice there. there's tough choices so we had 50 help 56 minus 5 51 thank you 38 that's a high one why'd you oh, go all the way there? i don't know victoria k dash what number is that 953 Nine, five, you can tell I'm still not wearing my glasses. I can't see anything. Congratulations, Victoria. You are the winner of whichever game you want. So From Flat Out. From Flat Out. Sponsored by Flat Out. Okay. 
and let's just click generate for no reason. Played at least 10 games. Mm -hmm. And this one you're going to win a copy of Ahoy from Leader Games. Nice. Leader Games just sponsoring so many giveaways. And so let's see, 36 people did this. 31. Odds are good on this bad boy. Odds are good. Odds are great. The winner for this one, number 29, is Andy GG. GG Andy. Andy, you always say you never win anything. This is the second giveaway that he's won with it us. It is, yeah. So shout out to you, Andy. You're getting a copy of Ahoy. Next up, we have Taught a Game. You will win Overboss Duel from mm -hmm. Brotherwise Games, sponsored by Brotherwise Games. Sweet. We had 42, Jeff. 42 minus 4 is 38. <laughs> this is just a fun game of math. 22. Good luck pronouncing that one. Duodict. 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 We'll put it on the screen. You're in the Discord, so you are winning a copy of, I already forgot, Overboss Duel. Overboss Duel. Love to see it. Okay, played a card game, is going to win a copy of Trio from Cappy, from Happy Camper, not Cappy Tamper. Not Cappy Tamper. That's a Tamper. totally That's a different, different publisher. We have 61. Minus four. What's that? 37. 37. I mean, 60, oh, 57. Oh, 57. <laughs> My brain. 29. 29. We have James S. Music, Music Man. Music Man 2263. And you were in the chat for a long time, so you deserve that big time. That was, you're getting a copy of Trio. Trio. Shout out that to, one's coming from us. That one is coming we do have from that us, yep. but was sent to us to give away Correct. by Happy Camper. Correct. Not to be confused with Cappy Tamper. Correct. Different publisher. Last but not least, we have I Survived the game -a -thon. Love it. Now, technically, anybody who participated could have been entered, but people specifically got it. Submit it for this. So we had 30 people minus 46. 26. Well, not 30 minus 26, but there are 26. Number 14 is V. V. Yay, V! v Fox also, V ice cream. Fox V ice cream from the Discord. You know who you are. You also submit it for like what are they every winning? single. You didn't announce it. Oh, right. Holiday Hijinks Bundle from Grand Gamers Guild. So there are like eight games in this bundle. Mm -hmm. They do one like all for every holiday, basically. So you're getting the whole bundle because you survived the game a thon. The whole kit and caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. So congratulations to everyone, and that is a sponsored giveaway as well. So yeah, just a big shout out to everyone who came to hang out. It even though it is a very exhausting thing to do, it is a very rewarding thing to do it is super fun yep. we had a great time just chatting and hanging out with all of you seeing all of your pictures afterwards was probably one of like my favorite it's just my favorite thing to I'm really see looking play forward games. to doing it again yeah jeff suggested maybe we do 48 hours yeah and then he no, said you do 48 hours oh me yeah not me you oh how about you no no i would not survive Jeff would not survive. That's true. But that was Foster the Game -a -thon. So once again, just a huge thank you to all of our sponsors. A huge thank you to everybody that came and watched and participated or just didn't watch and played games yeah. and planned games with their friends because that is honestly the purpose of the whole thing is just Correct. to get people out playing games. One last thing. We will be doing this next year. Yes. And we're just going to tell you the dates now so Daniel can book time off work. Daniel. Brad. And Brad. Come on, guys. Do book time off work. Come on. And it is going to be March 22nd slash 23rd of 2025. Put it in the calendar. We're coming back stronger than ever. Brad said he was going to play twenty uh, too many bones 24 hours straight. Guess we'll have to wait till 2025 to see if that's true. Yeah. Brad. Okay. But that is everything that we have for today. If you are interested in buying board games, like any of the many we mentioned today, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Shout out to Kat from the Boardroom Game Cafe because she, she popped in the chat <clears throat> and she's getting us blue mugs. She's getting us blue mugs. She said she made some sort of a promise that I vaguely remember. I can't wait to show you those blue mugs. Can't They're wait sick. to show you the blue mugs. Do you like snacks? I do. Where do people get snacks? Lunch pack. We ate a bunch of munch, sack, munch pack snacks. We ate a bunch of munch snacks. <laughs> Munch snacks, munch pack snacks. 
during the game a Did I just uh, come up with a slogan for Munch them? snacks? Yes. We had the sour Skittles. Holy tamole, man. Yep, we did. Those were crazy. Those were crazy. Oh. And. I can taste them. If you like what you see. Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later days. We're here! Can you hear me? Can you see me? Are you awake? Happy Gameathon Day, everyone. Aren't we all so excited? Jeff? I'm not there yet. Jeff? We're on coffee number one.
Ooh, that's a spoiler. I'm not gonna say anything anymore. 